Alright, hello, welcome back to A Software Engineer Plays, uh, the YouTube channel where a software engineer, that's me, uh, plays through video games designed to teach you aspects of logic, programming, and computer science. Um, we are in Human Resource Machine, um, working on turning on the speed light for the digital exploder level here. Um, I had a couple ideas. Um, to speed things up. Basically, what we want to do is try and reduce the number of iterations that we go through, so previously we were subtracting a hundred every time, so my thinking is if we use our extra memory slots here, do a considerable amount of um, setup, there's gonna be a lot of overhead, but that's okay. Um, basically we'll have a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, ten, twenty, thirty, um, zero will stay as is. Um, actually we could go all the way up to 400, which might speed things up even more. Uh, so let's do that. Um, so let's do our initialization. So we're gonna start off by copying from, uh, 100. And copying to, we're gonna call this one 200. Then we want to add 100. There we go. Okay. And then we want to add another 100 and store it in the 300. And then we want to add another 100 and store it in the 400. Okay, this one's 10, call this one 20, this one 30, this one 40. Okay, so now we want to copy from 10, add 10, copy to 20, add 10, copy to 30, add 10, copy to Copy two, forty. Good. All right, bear with me. I know this seems like a lot of setup. Let's just make sure we have that right. Please do. Good. Okay. So we're gonna call this the setup. And put an exclamation mark on it because we're excited about it. We'll call this place the hundreds. This one, the tens. And this one up here will be the ones. Okay. So the idea is we will copy our number to the ones place. So we'll call this label start. Start. So we'll inbox, copy to ones. All right. So now we want to start off by subtracting our largest number. So we subtract 400. If that's negative, then we want to jump down and try subtracting one second. If that's negative, I want to jump down and try subtracting. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this. This guy, if that's negative, oh boy. Uh, try subtracting 100. If that's negative, well, now things get a little bit more interesting. We end up subtracting 40s. If that's negative, we subtract 30s. If that's negative, we subtract 20s. If that's negative, we subtract 10s. If that's negative, well then we can just outbox whatever is in ones. Uh, copy from ones and outbox. Alright, so this should be really exciting to watch because our first number there is a two. We're gonna pick it up, 
We're gonna subtract 400, it's gonna be negative. Oh my bad, we need to copy from ones every time here. This is not going to be a winner in the size. <laughs> Uh, you can you can tell we're already over 30 commands here. It's not elegant, but there he is. Okay, so this will be a great example because uh, it'll show us what we want to do. If it's if it's not negative, we want to bump up the hundreds place four times. You see what I'm getting at here? And then we want to jump back up to that point. Okay? And by doing this, we should cut down on the total number of iterations through the... Um, I realize that I need to copy this back to... Um, copy to ones, okay. We're gonna go ahead and propagate this down. We're gonna bump up hundreds twice. And then jump up. Do that again, okay. And in here, copy two ones and bump up hundreds and then jump up again. Uh, do we need to jump up again? I don't think so, because we should have taken care of it in all of the other cases. Yes, so I'm not, I don't think we need to do this other jump here. So that saves us a little bit on size and on speed. So that's good. Actually, come to think of it, um, if we have... I'm not sure we need to... I'm just trying to think. If we have 800, if we had 700, we would take 400 away, then we'd take 300 away. We would never need to jump up again after this, I don't think. Thinking about the way that numbers work, <laughs> I think we should only ever need to subtract the largest because two times the second largest is always more than the, uh, the, the next one, so. Hopefully that makes sense to you, it makes sense to me. Um, So then, once we get to this part, we only need to copy to the ones and bump up the tens three times. And this is very much a brute force solution. It is not pretty. I will be the first to tell you that. I'm not super proud of it, but I think it will be a lot faster than the um, general purpose solution that we wrote earlier. So here we want to copy then to, uh, sorry, copy to ones and bump up the tens. Okay, so let's run through this with 648 and just see how it works. Just jump through our initialization here. Okay, so we're going to start off by subtracting 400 and that's going to take our number down to 248. So that's not negative, so we're going to copy that to ones. We're going to bump it out. Okay, we need to <laughs> skip one important um, initialization step, and that is initializing our counters. So we want to copy that to tens and copy it to hundreds. Okay. Okay, so. Hey. I think, actually, instead of... Let's put our outboxes on the top from the get-go. Alright. Outboxes. And we'll just jump into the setups there.
So we always do want to copy from one and cut to the other. All right, but we also need to, on the top of the copy from hundreds, if it's zero, jump down, otherwise out box, and then jump out to this section where we will copy from tens, out box, and then jump back to do the ones. Otherwise, we'll copy from the tens. And if it's zero, jump straight down to there. Otherwise, we won't have box. Okay. Ooh, that's messy. Let's see. How does it handle 91 here? Speed through our initialization. And you end up with a negative there, negative there, negative there, and a negative there. So now we're going to start doing our tens. So we end up with a non negative number 51 after subtracting 40. So we're going to copy that there, bump up four times. All right, so now we're going to jump back up and see if we can subtract another 40. And we can, so we're gonna do this again, bump up the tens by four. Great, now we're gonna try again. We're gonna get a negative number, so we're gonna skip over that block and try the ones, keep on going. Can't do that. And we can do this, because it's non-negative, so we're gonna copy that there, bump up the tens by one, time, and start outboxing. So it looks like that worked for 91. Uh, we do have a small problem in that we didn't jump out after, uh, our last outbox. Okay, so let's see if that happened for 751 here after we do our. So that goes down to 351. And now the important step here is once we do this check, you'll notice. Oh dear. Okay, something went wrong there. Let's back that up. Um, right, so we have a copy two there. Instead of a copy, we need a copy from at the top here. So, there we go. All right. Oh, boy. The problem with brute force problems is they tend to be really finicky. That's working. What I wanted to show you um, was why we didn't need to jump in the multiple. After doing the largest number, we didn't need to jump back to the top, but hopefully I explained that well enough. And let's see how we did on speed. I'm really hoping... I know the size is way over. Oh, man. Big savings! <laughs> we don't need to do the setup every time! Oh, rookie mistake! Okay, the only setup we need to do every time through is the um, initialization of the counters here. So... Wooey! 
So this jump needs to jump to there. This jump only needs to jump to there. That should save us a considerable amount of time. Because we're only doing a really intense initialization once. something. No! 215! Oh, that's slower than our... slower than our regular solution. Ah, oh, man. Why? Let's, you know, I'm not sure we need to go so crazy. Um, let's just tra trim, trim back a little bit and we will just do it for um, some of those. numbers it have to go through 400, 300, 200, 100. So this way it has to check fewer numbers. So it's kind of like walking a line as a fine balance, maybe. Okay, so that is faster. 188. So I think we're on to something here. The question is, what can we do to speed things up? Hmm. Oh, we're so close. I don't think we want, um... I don't think we want to initialize these with zero like we have been doing. So that's another interesting thought. Is... We could theoretically speed things up by checking to see if a number is smaller than 10 from the outset. Because like 3, instead of having to subtract 100 and then 10, we could just... Um, let me bring back my initializations. Is that got in there? Yes, good. So... Um, let me go ahead and subtract um, 
subtract 10 there, and if it's negative, then we can just go straight to the outbox with it. Otherwise, we'll add 10 back and then carry on with our... Let's find out. We're doing our initialization. Alright, back it up. Okay, so we do want a copy two ones there. And we do want a copy from zero down there. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Output. Okay, something has gone awry. <laughs> I wish I could put a breakpoint in and just run to the certain point. Here we do our setup. Okay, inbox. Ah. Alright, let's copy two ones before we. Uh, Eight, two, five. Now we should see our speed up here, because when we subtract 10, it's negative. So we're just gonna outbox that and carry on our merry way. But we can also do the same thing with, um, with other numbers. So after we subtract, we should really start by Subtracting, um, so where are we? If we subtract 20 here, and it's negative, then we can jump down all the way to here. Uh, then we can add back 20, subtract 10 if we want to jump up there. Then we can go ahead and do a subtract 200. If that's negative, then we can um, ideal, but that's okay. So if something 200 is negative, then we can skip over that step and just jump down to there. Then we can add back 200 and try subtracting 100. If that's negative, then we can skip down to this part right here. So that should speed it up for smaller numbers. Um, do our initialization. Uh, 5, we'll do a subtraction of 10 here, or rather a subtraction of 20, find out that that's negative, do our subtraction of 10, and then outbox it. So I think uh, I may be able to reverse the order and subtract 10 first and then 20 to get an additional speed up. Just fine. Output 60. Okay. I suspect 207 is going to be the problem my outboxes aren't set up quite right. Yeah. Oh. Hold up.
Okay. Let's initialize that. We subtract 20, it's not negative. So we add back the 20, we subtract 10, it's not negative. Aha! We need to add 10 there. But, um... We can reorder this to be a little bit faster. Um, just because... Uh, I think we need to add 10 back. negative, then we can jump down to this part. Alright. I think we have that set now. Your initialization. Okay, we'll subtract 10. It's negative, so we just outbox it. We're done. We get 200. And we're going to start by subtracting 10. It's not negative, so we'll add the 10 back. We'll subtract 20. It's not negative, so we'll add Oops, we need to add 20 back. Okay, we're getting there. And then here we go. Let's just jump to our initialization. Subtract 10, it's negative outbox. It. Okay, 8, 7, 8. Subtract 10, not negative. Add 10 back. Subtract 20, not negative. Add 20 back. Subtract 100, not negative. Okay, so now we continue as usual. Good. Whew, alrighty. So that's working. Eight, seven, eight. Beautiful. Now I just need to figure out how to correctly set up my outboxes. Or is she happy with me? She's happy with me. How's the speed? Come on. 197. Okay, um... Why is there a jump at zero? I don't remember that being there. I think we're just basically guessing and checking here, removing certain steps and seeing if it really does add that much of a speed up. Let's just see. That felt fast. <laughs> How did we do? 181. You know, I am just... <sighs> oh, how frustrating is this, huh? We were doing so well. One seventy four is the number to beat. save some time if we check it right off the bat and we don't actually initialize our uh... so let's yeah I mean <laughs> it's not gonna be much but uh, maybe it'll all right then Enough 
for Saved three steps. We're back to 174. Okay. You can hear my cat jingling its bell in the background there. So I think maybe we can do more checks here. If we do a copy from. Copy from ones and then subtract 200 and get a negative number. Then we can skip all the way down to here. That should speed up cases like this. No, it doesn't really speed it up because we're gonna run into this block anyway. So let's do it just for the hundreds. And that will let us skip down quite a way, actually. Um, we skip all of the hundreds section completely. It's not gonna show in these examples, but for any examples where it was less than a hundred, we would skip all of these steps completely, which should be uh, quite a speed up on average. So let's see what that does there. We're on there. Are we on 176? How did... <laughs> okay. Alright, well that didn't speed anything up, so let's remove it and try... Alright, so we're good with that. That part we can't really speed anything up. Um... I gotta rethink. Alright, this should be okay. So at this point, we have a negative number in our hands. Um, and it is a negative. 122. So, if we then um, well, that means we're done with the 200s. But what we can do at this point is check and see if we need to subtract 100 or not, right? Because if we have a number that is, um, if we have a number here that is less than 100, that would mean that we would need to subtract 100. So if we add 100 back here, we add a hundred here, and it's still a negative number, then we can skip over this section and move here. Otherwise, and here's something, because we're dealing just with twos, there's only ever going to be one one hundred left. Okay, so we can get rid of all this stuff. We can bump up the hundreds. Um, does that work? Let's see. I think we can we'll get to 700 more left in here. Okay. Hot box, please. Eight. Okay. So, 711. We're gonna start subtracting 200 from it. Alright. 
keep on going. Now this one, when we subtract 200, we have a negative number. So we skip over the next bump up. And as we go in here, we're going to add 100 to it. That's not negative. So we have effectively removed another 100, right? Because 111 minus... We got to negative 111 because we subtracted 200. So by adding back another 100, we're now at 11. So we're going to move that to the ones that bump up the hundreds. Okay. And now we can move on. We can subtract the 20. It's negative. So we're going to subtract there. And we're going to outbox 711. Cool. So now we will step on through. Continue. This should be faster than 174, I think, I hope. Nope, it's 174 exactly. But I think we can do something similar now down here. So instead of copying from the ones and subtracting 10, if we add 10, then if it's negative, what do we do up here? We just skipped over this section. So, let's see if that works. Let's go through our initialization with 28 here. You subtract 200. That's negative, so now we go in here. Okay. We copy that. Bump it up. Now we subtract 20, and because it's negative, we're going to add back 10 and get a negative 2, which means that we're done. And we can now outbox. 28. So that worked, and I think that is faster. So now we'll just play, play through and want to go. Okay. Okay, looking good, looking good. 8, 31, 6. Awesome. Okay, how do we do? Come on. Show me something good. 171. Oh, where did we go wrong? Okay. This is this is okay. We're almost there. I can feel it. I can feel we're heading in the right direction. Um um, I don't know. Maybe we can streamline the outboxes a little bit and have them in line. Let's see. So once we are... Um, okay, so that's negative, right? Then we can... We're going to outbox... Once we're done here, uh, we should be able to outbox the tens. And once we're done here, we should be able to outbox the hundreds. Does that make sense? Something's probably not quite right there, but, you know, let's see. All right. Oop, okay. So not quite right there. Um, if that's negative, then we want to...
how we know if once we if we know our number is less than a hundred, then we can. Oh boy. So yeah, there we can move down to there. Oh, we've already counted. We've already accounted for if the number is less than 10. So we should be good with that. Ha! Huh. Okay. Alright. There we go. Three. Done. Seven, seven, three. Do our setup. Seven. Add back our hundred. Good. Now we do this part. Because we know that our number was greater than 10. And greater than 100. We have one, so all three. Now we have 60. And here, what's gonna happen? We should not outbox the 100 because it's zero, so we're just gonna outbox the 10s and the 1s. Okay, cool. Okay. My head hurts. How do we do? 44 commands, and oh my goodness, 162 steps! We did it, everybody! <laughs> it only took close to 45 minutes of trial and error and bashing our head against it, but we figured out a solution that worked. And with that, I will say thank you very much for watching. Thanks for coming along for the ride. If you're still here at the end of the video, then props to you. <laughs> um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, you know, sometimes problems aren't easy to solve and they take a lot of thinking and a lot of uh, iterations, and this just goes to prove that. But we've turned on our light. Let's watch it turn on. Ding! All right. This has been a Software Engineer Plays. Thank you very much again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.